So, uh, this guy, you know, was mentioned in this story today, I mean, had to be covered. California nuns who grow and sell marijuana. And a bunch of them popped up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was covering some of this not too long ago. About how much money uh, Colorado made in one year. Or maybe it was Oregon. It's like 1.2 billion dollars. Uh, something like that. So, you can bet your ass if a state is making that much money, and especially if the government isn't in control over them, you can bet your ass the government's coming for that money very soon. Uh, they'll probably start, you know, raiding stores again. They raid a lot of stores here in Northern California. They raid a lot of people who grow shit legally. They're trying to send a message. They're trying to intimidate. They're trying everything. And uh, for all you people not from Cali, I would highly advise, from anywhere, <laughs> I highly advise that you don't go anywhere to try to steal shit. I mean, these motherfuckers live in their in their fucking tree houses and shit with machine guns. So you step anywhere on their fucking property. Uh, here's my best bet for if you come across any pot or anything. Go back in the other direction. Don't even touch it. Or don't even step on the fucking property line. Just don't. Uh, rule of thumb. So yeah, California nuns, Daily Mail. Yeah, I think they got their own website too. There it is, nuns growing and selling marijuana as part of their mission to heal the world. Now, it's been proven time and again that it's got great... It does great things. Lots of great things. I have yet to this day to see one death linked to marijuana and I mean it helps little freaking kids with cancer. Now ask yourself why would nobody would want that? Why wouldn't anybody want something they can grow themselves and you know it helps out whatever ailment they have, or maybe if they just want to smoke it. Because they ain't making no fucking money. See, government's under the impression that they're in charge. When they're in charge of, they're not even in charge of the fucking toilet bowl in the, at the White House. They're in charge of nothing. We're in charge of them. And people need to stop being afraid of speaking up to these people and letting them know how you really feel because they show you every day put it right in your fucking face and um so they use the cannabinoids to create products that that heal and treat pain here's their page here i think this is their page where is it there it is sisters of the valley Handmade with healing intent. Natural herbs, folks. It's not fucking biological chemicals they're putting in your food. And industrial toxins they're putting in your water. No, this shit's actually good for you. They want you to see a doctor. Newsweek, Huffington Post. High Times. They arrested these women. No, did they or did they not? They 
can we use to stop selling illegal weed? Where the fuck is this? Uh, a bunch of California nuns are selling illegal weed with no plans to give up the drug hustle. Uh, the women of the Sister of the Valley are probably breaking the law with their mail order marijuana business. Run through Etsy. Uh, I think that's up, uh, it's up by the triangle. Uh, Sisters of the Valley found themselves in an interesting predicament when the state laws were sent to take place at the beginning of March and were meant to take to make laws more lenient for marijuana users and producers were not enforced, prompting many areas to enact emergency marijuana laws. Oh no! It's that marijuana! Quick, we gotta make a law! Let's see. Oh, Merced. Yeah, okay. Um, Merced City spokesman said is not going to enforce the bans until a final decision is made on the matter. They're continuing to run their successful mail order Etsy business. Uh, I suggest everybody, starting right now, order their weed from this from these women, and let the government know that you're saying. Fuck your system. Everything we are doing is illegal, said Sister Kate. <laughs> Those plants you just saw in my garage, they're illegal. The sales, the batch we're about to show you is illegal. Yes, everything's illegal. <laughs> it should be noted that the nuns are not Catholic. I have instead taken vows related to marijuana and its healing powers. Hey, marijuana does great things for people. I could worship something like that. I could worship something like the sun. I'd be damned if I'm going to worship some fucking blueberry and silver badge. Or anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> This is on uh, hiphopwired.com. There's a lot of other stories too. Um, a lot of other links. So this was from the news in Tampa, I guess. It's also a growing business. We are rocking through what would be a podcast, a very big podcast. One, two, taller, wider, yes. The women here aren't trying to hide their marijuana habit. We commit our life. Now, right away, you folks notice something off. Like, uh, shouldn't the nuns be wearing black and white? Okay, now it says they're not Catholic. But can you call yourself a nun? I mean, are they officially nuns? Don't you think that's giving Catholic nuns and, you know, a real nun bad name? <laughs> or do you think it's giving them a good name? Maybe, depending on how you look at the fucking pot situation. You know what? This is the bottom line. The bottom line. It ain't your fucking decision. It's mine. That's it. Get the fuck out of my life. I don't know. That's like the easiest thing to get, man. It's the easiest thing to get is the fuck out of somebody's life. Just go. You can leave. If I was government at this point in history, I'd probably start packing my stuff soon. I don't know, just in case. 
a good story. It's a good story. It is. Hiphopwire.com. There's a bunch of other ones too. Cannabis growing nuns grapple with California law. I love the fucking jargon they use. Fight for the right to grow. Now, I personally would suggest the whole state, uh, all the way from, I don't know, L.A. to Vancouver. I wouldn't try to fuck with anybody weed. But especially up here in Wairika, Emerald Triangle, you know, Wairika, Eureka, Shirika, Hirika. <laughs> Follow where I'm going, folks. Check out, um, so these, these nuns on this page, Sisters of the Valley. You got all sorts of stuff on here. Looks like they cooking with it and everything. YouTube channels, like, you name it. It looks pretty cool. So now we're going to go here because of that. Follow me. Marijuana politics. Usually pops in by now. Man, they got a lot of good stuff over here. For all you potheads, smoke another one. So, tell you everything you need to know about law and government trying to get your grass. When, folks? When will you tell government that their ass is grass? <laughs> Get all this shit. Look. Partnership flourish. Look, not the government. They don't wanna... Nobody wants to work with them. Farmers don't wanna work with them. They're like, bitch, you trying to fucking BLM me into the ground? You want me to help you? You want me to be your partner? Because they want in on some of the fucking money. We don't need your fucking help. Take a walk. Tell them to kick rocks down the fucking road. Until they see blue ocean. Now they can't ban everything folks. Marijuana is just one of those fucking things you could do anything with. You could fucking eat it. You could smoke it. You could put it, make it into oil, you could make it into wax, you could make it in fucking all sorts of shit. You could smoke it from a fucking stick, you could smoke it from an apple, you could smoke it from a can. They're not gonna stop this. They're just gonna keep the fucking regulations up and up. It's never gonna end. Let's see what we got up in the, the section here. Because trust me. The politics uh, section of this page <clears throat> will teach you a lot. I wonder, you know, I want to, I want the fucking candidates to get drug tested. Folks, look. Just do this. Images of Hillary. Look at some of these pictures, folks. Tell me what this fucking lady is on. Just look at this one. It just looks off. I don't know. There's something weird looking about that. Look at, look at that fucking look. Look at that. Ugh. Wait, hold on. Look at, I mean... Yeah, he looks fucking stoned. It's probably why she's always laughing. And then look at her here, giving the fucking intimidating face. Are you fucking kidding me? 
If I was the fucking chairman in that meeting, I would have been like, first of all, wipe that fucking look off your face or you're fired. Don't you dare give me that fucking look, Missy. Better not dare vote for this evil fucking bitch. God bless and carry on.